exactly. Want to have a pity of a star in the making? Today's guest has been playing basketball since before he could walk and has been training his whole life to play in the big leagues. He also will have the opportunity to play for his home country of Greece over the summer. Now, sit back and enjoy while we get to talk about the Humanities Communication Arts Department at Noah Community College presents The New Directors, the show that introduces you to television's future writers, directors, and personalities. And now, join our host, Marcon Albright, to meet the next new director. Today's edition of The New Directors. All the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you will meet on this show are students who, when not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring this program to you with as few mistakes as possible. Each student will, has written and directed four different productions. This program will give them the chance to talk to, about themselves and the productions they have created and give you the chance to get to know them and enjoy some of the work they have done during the semester. Our guest today is an aspiring professional basketball player who enjoys spending his summers back in his home country of Greece. We'd like to meet today's guest, Mike Giannopoulos. How are you doing today, Mike? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. So we know that you um, are really involved in basketball and your home country is in Greece. Yeah. Can you tell us about the two? Yeah. So um, I've been playing basketball like before I can walk. Um, and. Uh, I've grown up loving it. My uncle was actually a professional basketball player back in Greece. He oh, played cool. all over the place. Um, and it's always been a passion of mine. I've trained long hours every day uh, for the past 15 years to play, to become, uh, to play in college, which I ended up doing at St. Lawrence last year. Oh, nice. played D3 basketball, and we made it to the NCAA uh, tournament really? last year, uh, which was a really fun experience for me. And... Um, Here's a clip uh, in Greece. Uh, so me and my family uh, travel back to Greece every summer. Um, my uh, home country in Greece is Sparta, mm -hmm. where um, my, actually my family back there has their own wine, winery. And we always go back and visit all the cousins and family. And it's really nice uh, going and spending time with them there. It's a beautiful place to be. Uh, definitely recommend it to anyone that's trying to go. Um, here in this video we're in Rhodes and I'm launching my uh, my cousin into the air with a GoPro camera that we were using uh, and yeah like it's we love going back we have fun uh, we actually have we both rent a house that's up on the hill right above where we are at the beach so um, we we enjoy going back every year and uh, definitely gonna go back this year this summer and uh, use some of the filming that I learned here and bring it over. That's pretty cool, Mike. Yeah. Might have to take a trip there next summer. Yeah, you definitely do. <laughs> You're just playing around in the water. The waters are the best part about Greece, you know, like yeah. the clearest waters. It's literally gets to points of like 88 degrees really? sometimes and nothing better than that. That's awesome. Um, so could you now tell us about why you took, um, why you taking a TV production course? Yeah, so uh, at my St. Lawrence where I was attending before I came here, mm -hmm. uh, my best friend was taking a TV and video production at, the, at our school mm -hmm. and I was always helping him out um, with editing, with uh, filming uh, and being in his, in his movies. Mm -hmm. So um, it definitely like made me realize that I definitely wanted to try to take, if I had the opportunity to take a TV production class. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Now, what are some of the most useful things you learned here in this class? Um, well, Avid was totally new to me. Yeah. Um, it was struggling at the beginning at times, but um, as uh, the class went on, I definitely learned new things, how to use Avid, and became smoother process. Yeah. And uh, basically, storyboards and shot lists um, definitely helped us, um, well, helped um, uh, help us make our movies uh, easier for us, basically. So, um, yeah. That's nice. And uh, I know you created four different projects, the uh, Student Studies, the Cup of Tea, Nature, and the uh, Orange Project. Can you tell us about those four? Yeah, so uh, Student Studies, um, at the beginning of class, like, uh, it was definitely not my best work. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, um, the, the shots were definitely choppier at some points and rough around the edges 
you see how I was jump cutting a lot. Um, and it was definitely an experience at the beginning. Like I thought, it was, I, thought I wasn't going to get the hang of it. But as doing the other um, projects, it became smoother to me. But um, in student studies, uh, uh, my buddy Nick, who's in this class as well, uh, helped me out. And he helped me out in the T project as well, which is this one. Mm -hmm. um, and this one was more interesting about I try to map um, my camera shots up differently and use a bunch of a, a lot more than I did in student studies with um, uh, camera shots and placement so uh, it's still a little rough around the edges but for the second project uh, pretty good yeah it's pretty good for the so this one is my nature project and this um, I was doing I learned how to use the poor man dissolve in this and which was zoom ins and zoom outs um, which you're gonna see in the next clip. I mean, this is not a poor man's dissolve, but this was just um, this was a fun project. It was nice to get outside and shoot instead of being inside with, with it's a nice the uh, location. It looks yeah, like. this is actually in the back of my house, really? which was pretty convenient. And uh -huh. uh, yeah, it was it's really nice shooting there. This is my orange project. Um, this was my best project by far. Uh, I learned how to put everything together that I learned over the semester and uh, put into the orange project and. I think it came out pretty well. I got to, to use my uh, brother and his friends in it, which, which was nice. It's always fun to well. have friends. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, now, you said that your best project was the uh, Orange Project. Could you tell us more about that one? Yeah, so um, basically, as you saw before, uh, I got to use uh, my brother in it, which was really nice yeah. to use family in it, and it was it made it a lot more fun for me. Yeah, and that. with this project, it wasn't stressful at all, and it was just a lot smoother than all, all three of my other projects. Um, and uh, basically, so I mean, we got to use his friends as well, which made it a lot more fun. And uh, editing on this project was a lot smoother. Um, all my all my cuts uh, were smooth for the most part, and and yeah, I mean, definitely just a fun project to, Looks to like finish it came off really with. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Uh, we were just messing around outside. We actually went through um, countless oranges, and then my mom <laughs> came home and was like, "Where did all the oranges go?" And uh, I definitely had to buy more oranges when I went out next. <laughs> Anything for the orange project. Exactly. <laughs> As you can see in this next scene. Um, it broke, so we did this scene like a couple of times, and uh, if you see in the ocean, there's about eight or nine oranges <laughs> floating over there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Now, you um, listed a lot of things you've learned. What are the most um, interesting and important skills you learned uh, during this class? Um, I think Avid was uh, definitely a big for me, um, getting to uh, know how to use it, and um, learning all about um, TV and video production. Uh, I think all of us like helped each other out, which was yeah. nice. And um, putting it all together at the end, I mean, I was definitely hesitant at the beginning of the class um, mm -hmm. about learning everything. I thought it was a lot of work, but um, everyone being there, helping each other out, I thought was definitely uh, helped out yeah. the most. And uh, it helped me not only uh, uh, it helped me become a better uh, uh, editor and uh, filmer at the end of the day. It's pretty nice. I'm glad you were able to take the class. Yeah. So today we got to meet someone who shared with us their passions for basketball and love for his home country of Greece. As a new TV director, he hopes to apply what he has learned here at NCC to further his filming skills as the new university he will be attending in the fall. He also plans to use the new knowledge from TV One to make new videos in his home country. We'd like to thank you, Michael Giannopoulos, for joining us today at the New Directors. Thank you. Pleasure. And we hope you enjoyed meeting one of television's future directors and hope you join us next week to watch our progress. Thank you and good day. The New Directors with your host, Marcon Albright, directed by Alan Torres. I'm your announcer, Christina Copa. The New Directors is a Norwalk Community College student.